This is my first visit uh, to St. Vincent and the Grandins. As president of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I want to thank the Prime Minister and the Speaker for offering me this opportunity to address your House of Assembly on behalf of the people of Taiwan. I also want to congratulate your countries on being elected as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council, promoting world peace and security in this important international body is a high honor and a great achievement as long-time allies we share in your pride. I have always admired your country's willingness to speak up on international stage, especially on key issues like climate change and sustainable development. Although Taiwan is not a member of the UN, we have always been a responsible member of the international community. Like you, we are dedicated to achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals and submit voluntary national reviews. We are keen to cooperate with international partners because the climate change is a global issue that requires global cooperation. And in St. Vincent and Grenadines, we have created an important model that sets the standard for sustainable development. Our banana revitalization project is helping achieve food security, ensuring access to nutritious foods, and fostering sustainable agriculture. I know that bananas have been a cornerstone of your country's economy. Using Taiwan's strength in agriculture technology, we will revitalize the banana industry in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. <laughs> Taiwan's McKay Memorial Hospital is also working to promote health and well-being in your country by jointly implementing a capacity building project to prevent and control diabetes. We are equipping local medical personnel with stronger care capabilities and teaching the public about the diabetes of prevention, care, and self-management. Together, we are giving people the ability to take charge of their own health. Our Joint Intelligence Bus Management and Monitoring System project exemplifies our commitment to resilient infrastructure. With this project, we will establish the first smart transportation system in the Caribbean, right here in San Vincent, and help Vincentians make better use of public transportation. We are also working hard to cultivate human capital. Each year, we award scholarships for outstanding local students to study in Taiwan, ensuring their equal access to high quality education. Graduates bring crucial knowledge and skills back to St. Vincent and Grenadines and apply what they have learned to give back to their communities. We also offer local training courses in the food and beverage, tourism, plumbing, and electrical repair industries. Students can quickly gain practical job skills and make crucial contributions to the incension economy. At noon today, I had the chance to meet with representatives from the Taiwan Alumni Association here. We were joined by 16 students who will soon embark on their journey to an advanced degree in Taiwan. I am. Okay. I am delighted and proud that Taiwan is doing our part to cultivate talents here. Through everything that we do together, I want your people and the world to see that we can contribute more to the world and that we are determined to do so. So, on behalf of the people of Taiwan, I want to take this opportunity to thank St. Vincent and the Grenadines 
for your long-term support for our international participation and for speaking up on our behalf. At last year's UN General Assembly general debate, Prime Minister Gonzalez said it best. He said, there is simply no principled basis to deny Taiwan the right to participate in the work of the specialized agencies of the United Nations. We also have another supportive friend here with us today, the Honorable Mr. Brown, Minister of Health and Environment. He has quite a following in Taiwan. Last May at the World Health Assembly, Mr. Brown said that the interests of Taiwan's 23 million people should not be held ransom by political preferences. His courageous words have stayed with me to this day. <laughs> Samizin and the Grenadines have always been a loyal ally and a close partner. We share a common vision for universal human rights. So I hope that you will continue to support Taiwan in the international arena as we work together to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals and make our world a better place for future generations. Finally, I'd like to thank all the members of the House of Assembly for your decision to establish an embassy in Taiwan. The people, the people of Taiwan welcome you with open arms. I'm confident that this new embassy will lead to new opportunities for cooperation and even stronger friendship between our countries. I look forward to your continued support in the international arena and for continued strength in our partnership. As we face the challenges that lie ahead, may our countries prosper and our alliance endure. Thank you.